Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, I have a really cute card for you today. I just want to let you know that the card, the stuff that I'm using for my card today came out of this mini catalog. Let's go back to this catalog at a glance and I'll show you. So it's this little best delivery stamp set. And then the cloud punch here. Now I know, well, if you're familiar with Stampin' Up, you know that the mini catalog goes till the end of June because our annual catalog that looks like this. Um, today's the last day that you can order from it. But then we have a new catalog tomorrow, which if you're one of my customers and you ordered with me for the last six months, you should have yours by now. It should have come in the mail. But look how they are so like similar. Similar? They have a lot in common when you look at the front of the catalog. But this one's retiring, and this one, um, like I said, is coming live tomorrow, which is very exciting. I have my order already. I can hardly wait to order from this one with the new products and stuff. Now, so you know the catalogs don't come bound like this. That's just something that I do. I take them and I have them bound. They're easier, I think, to look at like that. But anyway, so you know this one you have to say bye-bye today, and this one we say hello to tomorrow couple other things I want to go over with you. If you're um, interested in Paper Pumpkin, be sure you subscribe or buy your kit and have your subscription set up before May 10th so you can get the in color um, Paper Pumpkin kit and have a chance to win that golden voucher. Now Stampin' Up! has had I don't know how many golden vouchers they had printed up. They stuck them in random paper pumpkin boxes. So you have a chance to rent a golden voucher, which is $25 worth of, pro of product. You can go shopping with the $25 credit at Stampin' Up! or on my online store. Same thing. So there's that. And then last, there's a promotion in May starting tomorrow. Make sure I get that right. That um, if you join Stampin' Up, you become a demonstrator, you buy the starter kit, it's all the same thing. It's $99, you get $125 worth of product, a paper pumpkin kit, all your business supplies, free shipping, and now Stampin' Up's going to throw in all of the in color, all five of the new in color ink pads, some designer series paper, the in color cardstock, and some in color grid paper. So that might be worth um, into looking into. And of course, if you join my team or you sign up as under me, we have monthly meetings, monthly swaps, we do stuff together too, and I'll always be here to answer questions. But let, let's go on to our card. So our card looks like this, and boy, I think the lighting is terrible, but there, that's a little better. And I'll show you what not to do when I made my mistakes and what to do. It's a very simple card. I bought this stamp set, which looks like this, because my son owns a moving business. And I thought, boy, if he needed a birthday card, if he needs a, a Christmas card for his company or for his business, I could always whip something up. I did a Christmas card for him. I don't think it was last year. I think it was a year before. And I had to create a truck and it was a huge you know, headache, but it worked out, but this would be so much easier. But let's let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna start with this background piece here. And that is just a piece of balmy blue. It's um, five and a fourth by four. That's an easy measurement. If you want the measurements, of course, I would double check my blog because when I start talking, sometimes I say the wrong things, but on my blog, are the right um, measurements. That's BeCreativeWithKathy.com. And there should be a link somewhere. If you're on Facebook here, it's probably up above. And if you're on YouTube, it's down below. I like to take my Facebook Lives and post them onto um, YouTube so they'd be on both places. And while I'm at it, if you're on Facebook, I would love it if you would like my page and share my video. That helps me out a lot. And if you're on YouTube, I'd love for you to subscribe, make a comment, ring that bell, thumbs up, smiley faces, all that stuff. It just helps me out. But I have another scrap here. This is basic gray. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal to put that on. But I want to show you real quick. When you go to change, this Stampin' Seal is dead. It's empty. I need to change it. So I have a, a new one here that just has an opening pouch. You don't have to tear anything apart or nothing. And you take your refill out. But every time I put a new refill in, I always check up here at the top for like, can you see the sticky stuff that is stuck to my case? If you clean up your case a little bit every time you change your tape, 
it runs smoother. It doesn't have all this. There's There was a lot of gooey. I don't know if you could see it on there, but there's a lot of gooey stuff that you really can't see until you take that case apart and pick it off with your fingers like that. So now, if you do that every time you change your tape refill, which is very easy. See how it just slips on those little pegs there? But it'll make your um, tape run a lot smoother when you change it. That's just a quick tip. But I'm gonna take my um, adhesive and just run it along. Well, now that I have a new one, I gotta get them started. There we go. Run it along the bottom here. About this, I know this is a fourth of an inch wide. Well, and it's gonna be five and a fourth. I'm gonna line it up here at the bottom like this so it's just exactly right. Make sure it's down really good. And then I'm gonna just trim this to match the front of my card. So they're the exact same size like that. Okay, that's just a scrap, we don't need that. And then I have another little scrap here. And this one is one and a fourth inches wide. And we're gonna cut this down so that they're one fourth inch. And I think we need about three of them. I'm gonna cut four just to be, so I have enough. One, two, whoop, go away. Three, but these are gonna make the little street markers of the white lines in the center, although they won't be in the center of our road for our truck here. Let's set that aside. Okay, and then I have another scrap here. Now this scrap I'm gonna use to stamp my truck on, but I'm also gonna just punch a couple of these clouds from this cloud punch, which I don't think I've used in a video yet, but I do love how simple it is to get some clouds with that simple punch. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my clouds with my tape runner here and just place those one up here, close to the corner, and then just one over here, got my little cloudy happy background. And then let me grab my silicone mat, cause I'm gonna take, and that side looks dirty, this side looks a little cleaner. But I'm gonna just take my little white strips here and run that tape. Now the silicone mat, it doesn't stick to that and I can just kind of fold the tape over. Now I have tape all over the whole thing. And I'm gonna start off on this one. I don't think I did on that one. But I'm gonna just set these. So that looks like, like the road, like the white, I don't know what they're called. What are those white things in the center of the road called? They're just painted lines to make you stay in your lane. But I'm gonna just set them just like that across. Now I'm not worried if they're perfectly straight. I'm not gonna worry if they're perfectly, because this is just a fun card for a birthday. I don't even care that it's perfect. Oop, a little bit of trouble here. There we go, with my tape. I'm trying to get the tape off the front. I'm just folding it back on itself so it's back on the back of the cardstock. And then just set that one right there. That looks good. Let's trim this one down so it's the even with the cardstock here. So now we have our little, um, I guess, road scene that we're going to add our truck to now. So let's go ahead and stamp a little bit. Another um, tip I want to show you what I do with my stamp set. So when you get a stamp set, it looks like this. The inside, here's your stamp sets on that clear. Now you see I've used mine, but I haven't set it up the way I like to. But I like to take this piece of paper out here. And then I'm going to take my paper trimmer again. And I'm going to cut on this score line. Let me move everything out of the way. This score line here from the case, there's two score lines here. I like to cut on the right side score line. I'm gonna just line it up with my paper trimmer groove here. And I'm gonna just cut that off just like that. Now I have it like this. I set it on top of the other side and then I can put it back in my case like this. There's like a little opening here that holds just like a movie case or um, I guess a movie case, CD case, I don't know what else comes in these. But now, when you close your stamp set, you can see through it and you can see the stamps through your case. Then, of course, I would just take my stamps. I'm going to hang on to this lighter piece of plastic. But you take your stamps and just put them how they go here. Now, I'm going to take this little heart and I'm going to put it on a block because we're going to use him. 
We're not gonna use this little piece of what I call road. We are gonna use this little balloon, so I'm gonna put him on a block like that. Although I might change my mind on the block, and or I mean on the, um, the balloon. There's my words that say upside down. Sending lots of love, I want that one. And then I'm gonna put my great big truck here onto the big block. But then I would take the rest of these. Oh, and then I think I want, to, <laughs> I'm gonna do a bunch of different stuff maybe on this. I'm gonna mount these extra hearts here. And I need the words that say happy birthday wishes. So I'm gonna put that on the block. But back to my case here now. Then I would take all my stamps, I would set them here. I take that lighter piece of plastic and set it over the top. That just kind of helps me keep my stamps on this side of the case. And then like I said, I can see through my case so I can see if all my stamps are in there. And I like that better than seeing the back, the paper on the back. But that's just what I do with, with my stamps. Okay, back to we were gonna stamp. So here's that white scrap. And I do have a scrap here of, um, what is that yellow called? Daffodil Delight. There we go. It's really inky and one that's going to just ink him up really good. And then I'm going to turn him over. I'm going to grab my paper piercing mat here and lay my little truck right there. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I don't want to smash my stamp set, especially the clear photopolymer, but I want to make sure that he gets... Um, enough pressure to get stamp a good stamped image. Ooh, just like that. Okay, let's do the same thing here to the yellow truck. Let that ink sink in. A little bit of pressure, make sure it gets a solid image here. Looks like that. Yay. And then again with that black ink, I'm going to take this um, birthday wishes, ink that up really well, and stamp that down here in the center on the back of my truck. There we go. Now, on the inside of this card, I took and stamped those little, um, I took, let's go this way, the string of the balloon and I colored it with my black marker. And so then that way it only stamped the string part of the balloon. And then I took the red heart and put the heart onto the string so it looks like that. I also took that red heart and stamped it on my truck. Now I'm not sure if I want that today so I'm gonna not do that just yet. But I do wanna do the inside of my card a little bit different and let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna set, this is my card base. It's thick, basic white. Um, it's eight and a half inches by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. And now I just have a piece of scrap here to protect my pierce mat, but I'm going to take that truck. We'll see if this works. I have two bases just in case it doesn't, but I thought this might be a cute, different way to do the inside. I'm going to ink up just worrying about the back end of that truck and I'm going to stamp it like he's driving away because the front said signed, sealed and delivered. And I thought this might be cute this way. So there we have our truck. And really, I wish I would have put them a little bit further off of the truck or off of the paper. That will make it work. And then I have some basic, or no, some real red here and those little hearts. And I'm going to line those up so it looks like they're coming out of the back of the truck like this. There we go, look how cute that is. And then maybe I'm gonna stamp a little heart right here. So that'd be the inside of my card with the words in black memento that say sending lots of love. And it has something else on the bottom. Let me stamp it and then I can read it to you too. Oh, today and each day after. I thought that would look really cute with a little um, birthday card. Looky there. So there's the inside of our card. And you know, I do think it looks pretty good and I'm going to just stick with it just like that. Okay, so let's do some fussy cutting. I think we're all done stamping. We might add, well, we're going to add one more thing at the end. I'll give you a sneak peek of something that's in the new catalog coming out. But real quick, I'm going to just go straight on the line. I'm not going to give it any border or anything. 
but I'm going to cut out this yellow part of the back of the truck and you just have to bear with me. I'll try to make it as quick as I can. And I'm going to even cut off the cab. I think that's called the cab of the truck. I have to ask my son what the parts are of a truck. So next time when I say it, it will make sense. Oh, and I remember one thing I need to stamp that happy birthday in some green. So we'll have to come back and stamp that too. But I'm going to take this right here. And now I have the yellow part of the truck. I'm gonna fussy cut this truck too. Now this one, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a border around that black and just cut out the whole thing. Now, if you watch my videos and you know that usually I don't take the time to fussy cut, I have my brother scan and cut, cut one of these. It won't work with this one unless I try to piece stuff together, but because the it's not a fine line and the tires aren't attached to the truck and stuff like that. My brother scan and cut just wouldn't cut this nice at all. So I'm gonna take the time and fussy cut my little truck, which as you can see, isn't taking too long at all. Has a nice time to, I can just, um, I don't know, chat. I'll tell you what too, my cat, <laughs> my cat, my crazy cat is shedding. So there's black hair like everywhere and I think he's a little confused because the weather was really warm there for a couple days and then it got cold again and now today it's kind of rainy and kind of wet so I'm sure he's trying to decide do I shed do I save that hair what exactly but there is cat hair everywhere and I know those people that are allergic to cat hair that's probably like your greatest fear but thank goodness no one in my household is allergic to him and he can just but I'm tired of finding black hair everywhere I wonder if you guys have the same problem. I, well, there's a friend of mine that has several cats and one of her cats is black and I wonder if she struggles with the same thing. Maybe it's just my hairy, hairy cat, I don't know. But anyway, there you go. So there was my story while I cut out my truck. Okay, so we're gonna just take this piece here and with my tape runner, I'm going to just layer this right there on top of my truck. So then I have my truck and then just on a cup. Oh, and before I put it onto my card, I'm going to take my Stampin' Right blends. Now, no, not Stampin' Right, Stampin' blends. And I think I'm going to use this light blue here. And I'm going to just color that, whoop, not that tip. That tip is almost dead. I need to get new markers. I'm going to use this tip and just color that window in just a little bit so it looks like paint or glass on there. Now you notice on my sample card, and I think I said this before, I also stamped the little heart there. I chose not to do so on this card. But I did also take my Wink Estella, and now you can see I took and colored my heart red and then my window, and some of my red ink was still on the tip of my Wink Estella. So make sure if you decide to um, stamp that heart and put a little bit of Wink Estella on that. Did you clean the tip of your Wink Estella really good before you do the window here? But I think that little shimmer on the window even gives it more of a look of the, like a window pane. So there you go. There's my tip what not to do. Now we're going to take him and some dimensionals here just to pop him up a little bit. Remind me that my dimensionals now are on this side of the table because I'm going to look for them over there. But anyway, that's just one of my little, I'll be looking for them in a minute when I go to put the greeting onto my card. Let's fold this in half first too. Oh, and I didn't even put the blue on there yet. Okay, I need to focus. I'm going to use my bone folder, get a nice tip or a nice crisp on my card here. And then we're going to take this piece and just add this with my tape runner today. Flick this way and then your tape doesn't do what I've been doing, having struggles with it starting like that. Okay, put it like this. How cute. And then those little, put our little truck about right. That looks good right there. 
and then on a scrap here, I'm bringing in my pierce mat again, on a scrap of just Granny Apple Green, I'm going to ink up that happy birthday, or really it's birthday wishes. Maybe one more tap just for luck. And I'm going to stamp that down here and get my wishes toward the bottom so when I cut it, I only have to cut it at the top and the sides. Like that. I'm going to just use my paper trimmer here. that so it looks let's cut it this way first just off a little bit here's the end so it's not quite so long and then just take my birthday wishes that looks good like that and then again with my paper snips which I have put <laughs> when they do oh here they are I'm gonna just take a little bit of angle here find this one this way and this one maybe this way. And then, I don't know about you, but I think it looks a little bit too long here. I'm gonna just trim off a little bit. I got a little bit too wide. There we go, like that. And take those dimensionals on the back of that. On the back of my little green pieces. And then I'm gonna add those down here. Or add this right over my birthday wishes just to give my truck a little bit more character. Maybe it looks like a sign now on the side of my truck. So you'll have to let me know. Do you like it better with the heart on the cab? Do you like it better the way I stamped it this way with the truck leaving with the hearts flying out or with the balloon hearts like that? But there you go. So there's the um, best delivery stamp set and that really cute um, cloud punch. That's what I have for you today. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you back here on Thursday with another card or at least another project. Have a great week and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.